Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another March Madness style tournament. Since summer's gonna be over soon, I want to celebrate by doing it on ice cream brands. Oh yeah, you heard me right, folks. And there's only 16 seeds this time, so we're starting out the Sweet 16, and next episode will be the finale, only a two-parter. This should be short and sweet, pun intended. So if you don't know how this goes, which some of y'all should by now, maybe you don't, uh, basically, each brand is going to go head-to-head. -head. Uh, first round will be best out of five. I'll be drawing from 11 different categories, and whoever gets best out of five categories will move on to the Elite Eight, so on and so forth. If it doesn't make sense right now, just watch for a few minutes. You'll get the hang of it. So, in this first matchup, we have the top seed ice cream, Ben & Jerry's, going against the last seed, Halo Top. Let's get this thing rolling with the Magic Bowl. The first category drawn will be Category 4. Category 4 is Customer Review. So Ben & Jerry's has a 4.6 out of 5 star rating with their customers. That is pretty good. Halo Top, 4.2. Ben & Jerry, 0.4 better, uh, which is a considerable difference. They go up 1-0. Again, this is best out of 5, so first to 3 points will win. We're rolling again to see what the next category will be. We have 7. 7 is going to be uh, my personal preference on these two. Um, just going solely on the ice cream alone, uh, I do think Ben & Jerry's tastes better. Um, they have a lot of unique flavors, they have a lot of flavors, and I do think their ice cream is high quality. So for that, I will have to go with Ben & Jerry's. They go up two to zero. All right, will they sweep Halo Top? We have category six. I know I have funky sixes. Um, I also have funky nines too, if we draw one soon. Category six is established date. So whoever is older will win. Uh, ben & Jerry's established in 1978, Halo Top 2011, so about 30 year difference. Ben & Jerry's will sweep Halo Top for this first matchup. Understanding why they are the top seed. They move on to the Elite Eight. In this second matchup of the Sweet 16, we have the ninth seed Talenti, a gelato brand, against the eighth seed Tillamook. All right. Drawing the first category now. We have category three, first time getting this one. This is going to be variety of flavors. So looking at Talenti, they have uh, Key Lime, Caribbean Coconut, Mediterranean, Mint, and 21 other flavors. So it's all about 25 flavors right now. Uh, Tillamook has Mudslide, Oregon Strawberry, Caramel Toffee, and 26 more. So they have almost 30 flavors, uh, barely edging out Talenti so far. They go up 1-0. Next category will be six once again. So we're going back to established date. Talenti, um, they were established 2003, 20 years ago now, hard to believe. Tillamook, 1947, pretty old. Um, Getting close to a century, about 80 years old. Uh, they take the point on this one again. So they are up 2-0. Well, we get two sweeps in a row. Time to find out. It all depends on this category, which is five. First time getting five today, which is going to be um, worker review. So whoever treats their workers better We'll get the nod here. Tillamook, 4 out of 5 star rating. Talenti, 4.1 out of 5 star. So they barely will not get swept. They are down. The next category drawn will be 7. So again, we're going back to my personal preference. Um, I have had both of these, but not much. But I am a fan of more traditional ice cream over gelato, it seems like. However, the Talenti... Gelato is really good. And I feel like I've had it slightly more. I'm going to go Talenti here. Um, I'm going to give them the nod. Tied up 2-2. We'll see if that will be enough to uh, overcome their deficit that they were in. 
The next category is going to be 11. 11 is uh, references in the music industry, so how many songs they're in and by what notable artists. Um, Tillamook is in no notable songs that I can find. Talenti is in three, no huge artists, but three songs nonetheless. It is Italian, so that may be why. Maybe they're in some Italian music. Uh, but Talenti uh, does come back from 2-0 and get the win 3-2. to two. They're moving on to the Elite Eight. Next up, we have the 5th seed Briars against the 12th seed Friendlies. I heard in the news recently that Friendlies is not doing so good as a company. So we'll see if this has any effect on their tournament run. So first category will be four, which is customer review. Briars has a 4.6 out of five star rating, uh, pretty good. And Friendlies has a 4.6 out of five star as well. So if we have our first tie, we're gonna re-roll the bowl. Next up, we have category two. First, I'm getting category two. This is going to be average price of a pint, I believe. Friendly's average price of a pint is a whopping $2. Really cheap. Um, really good for them because Briar's average price of a pint is $3.50. So, Friendly's gets the first point here because they are cheaper. More affordable. Um... Next up, we have category one, first time getting one, which is what they're seated upon, which is revenue. Briars makes $498 million. Friendly's $111 million, about a four times difference. Briars ties it up 1-1 one, one here. All right, next up, we have nine. My nines have lines. If you didn't know that before, you know now. I know I am the minority in that number scheme um so category nine is going to be slogan so whichever has the better slogan in my opinion will move on briars right now it's it's way beyond ice cream so good it must be briars okay kind of long kind of a mouthful but you know they're hyping themselves up a little bit i can respect that friendlies is where ice cream makes the meal that's a little shorter, a little sweeter. I kind of like it, you know. Uh, you know, ice cream is what you have. It's dessert. It's after the meal, but this time, this is where ice cream makes the meal. So I'm gonna give it to Friendlies here. I kind of like that slogan a little bit better. All right, Friendlies is up two to one now. Next category, we got ten. Man, we're getting almost all the categories. This has been a good. Uh, variety. Good shuffling on my part. 10 is going to be the movie industry. So how many uh, times their product has been placed in a movie or show. Uh, friendlies, total of two times. So not that much. Going to Briars, they're in a total of 19 different shows and movies. So they tie this thing up 2-2. Two -two. We have back-to-back -back good matchups here. It all comes down possibly to this category right here. I can draw it properly. We have category eight. Category eight is going to be logo. With that, we have officially hit all the categories. Very good. So looking at these two logos here, uh, Friendlies and Briars. Uh, Friendlies, very simple, red on white color scheme. Uh, kind of reminds you of um, Freddy's, Chick-fil-A, just the red fancy font on a white background. Uh, nothing too spectacular. Briars, they have the black, white, and green color scheme. They got the fancy white font on the black background. And then they have that nice crisp mint leaf, I believe, um, right there. I, I like the Briars a bit more. I think it's uh, more sleek um, and just overall more unique and more work put into it. So I'm going to give the nod here to Briars. They will beat Friendlies 3 to two. Moving on to the Elite Eight. Friendlies, you're out of here. All right. In the next matchup, we have the 13th seed Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream against the 4th seed Mayfield. First up, we got category five. I know that's a funky five. It almost looks like a two, but it's a five, and that is going to be Worker Review. So, 
Mayfield has a 3.3 star rating uh, among its workers. That is pretty low, one of the lower ones on here. Um, meanwhile, Jenny Splendid has a 3.7 out of 5. Not spectacular either, but 0.4 better, and it's going to put Jenny's up 1-0 against Mayfield. Mayfield, again, a really big uh, dairy giant. Not just ice cream, but they run the whole dairy game. Milk, cheese, you you got it. Um, category 3 is the next one that we are drawing. Category 3 is going to be um, now uh, variety. So Jenny Splendid has Everything Bagel Ice Cream, Bramble Berry, Boston Cream, and 35 more flavors. They have a total of 38, some unique flavors mixed in there. What does Mayfield have? Moose Tracks, Smoky Mountain Fudge, Summer Berry, and 47 more with a total of 50 different flavors. An insane amount. Mayfield is going to tie this thing 1-1. One, one. All right. Going for the next category here. We have category 10. We're going back to the film industry where Mayfield is in no notable product placement. I found that very interesting and hard to believe, but from what I could find, they're just their products are not in any movies or TV shows. Going on to Jenny Splendid, though, same same deal. So re-roll. What I figured out is that ice cream. Uh, not, not too big in the product placement in film industry and not mentioned much in music. <laughs> um, next up we have category six. So category six is going to be, uh, established date. Jenny Splendid, fairly new brand, 2002 Mayfield, way older, 1923. One of the older ones on here for sure. It's up two to one. All right, now... We're going to the music industry. Let's see if there's a difference there. Mayfield is in no notable music. Once again, Jenny Splendid, no notable music. So, a second reroll. Jenny Splendid just barely holding on. We're going to category four next. Category four is going to be customer review. We already established that Jenny treats their workers better, but how do customers like the actual product? Mayfield, a very solid 4.7 out of 5 star rating. They're one of the more established ice cream brands out there. Jenny's a 4.5, just a little bit less. And with that, Mayfield beats Jenny's Splendid Ice Cream 3 to 1, going on to the Sweet, or the Elite 8, and uh, Jenny's Splendid you're out of here. All right. So we have, we're halfway there. We have four more matchups in the Sweet 16 round. Starting with the, well, next up with the third seed, Blue Bell Ice Cream against the 14th seed, Graders. Blue Bell is my go-to. Can't lie, I'm rooting for them a little bit, but I will be fair and honest. And what do you know? I draw my personal preference. Uh, how Quotan Poe. I don't know. I don't know my foreign language words. Um, Bluebell, as I just mentioned, my preferred go-to ice cream. I've never tried Graders. So any, either way, by default, Bluebell would have got the point there. They're up 1-0. Next up, we have Category 10. Category 10 is the movie industry. Once again, Bluebell is in, again, no, no notable product placements in the movie industry. Very surprising to me. How about graders? They're in, they're in three, three different movies or TV shows. So a much needed point for them. Graders ties us up one to one. All right, next up is going to be five. Five is a uh, worker review. Grader 3.5 out of five star rating among its workers. Not amazing. Bluebell, 3.8. So 0.3 difference. Blue Bell is going up 2 to 1. All right. All right. All right. All right. Next up, we have category 3, which is going to be variety of flavors. Blue Bell has their new Dr. Pepper Float, which I tried on this channel. Go check it out if you haven't. Banana pudding, black walnut, and 33 more. So a total of 36 different flavors. Graders has Bold Bearcat, Coconut Chocolate, Blueberry Pie, and 39 more flavors. So over 40. 
so which just edges out Bluebell. They tied this thing 2-2. If Graders upsets Bluebell, I would be very shocked. It'd be our first true upset of the uh, series. Next up, we have Category 4. So it all comes down uh, to customer review. So how much the customers love the product. Graders is a shocking 4.8 out of 5 star. Very high, one of the highest. But Bluebell, also a 4.8 out of 5 star so we're re-rolling this is an intense one if you like good matchups this is proving to be a very good one next up we have what is it six six is next category six is established date so whoever's older bluebell 1907 over a hundred years old graders 1870 hundred and 50 years old about now. Wow. I think Graders is the oldest, no, nope, second oldest one in this tournament. And with that, they shock Bluebell, beating them three to two. I cry a little bit inside, but hey, it is what it is. Bluebell, my go-to, you are out of here. Graders going on to the Elite Eight. All right, in our third to last matchup, we have the 11th seed Blue Bunny against the 6th seed Dryers, a.k.a. Uh, Eddie's, Edie's, depending on where you're from. First category being drawn here, we have 8, which is going to be Logo. Let's look at the logos here. Blue Bunny, very crisp sky, uh, sky blue on white background. The only difference or the only thing that's very unique is that the B is a bunny. I like that. Um, pretty good font scheme right there. Uh, going to dryers or Edie's, they have the white, brown, and like yellow color scheme going on. And with the apostrophe in dryers, it is a little ice cream cone. Um, I like both of these a good bit, but I'm going to go with dryers here. It just has a more classic ice cream feel to it. Um, a little bit more homey, and I just like it a little bit better. So they go up 1-0 against Blue Bunny. All right, next category is 9. And category 9 is Slogan. So, great, uh, not graders, we are now on Blue Bunny. Blue Bunny's slogan, as of now, or their most recent one that I could find, is Give In to the Bunny. It almost sounds sexual in a weird way. I don't like it. Going to dryers. Scooping since 1928. Man, straightforward to the point. I get it. I like it. Uh, I like it better than Blue Bunny. So dryers is going up 2-0. Could they sweep the bunny or will they give in to the bunny? Next up, we have category seven. My personal preference. I haven't had dryers much at all. And I haven't had Blue, Bear, Blue Bunny much at all. Um, I stayed away from Blue Bunny because they had that like hysteria outbreak years ago. And uh, although I've had it since, it's like, oh, paranoid, staying away from it a little bit. Uh, Dryers, kind of a more classic tasting ice cream from what I remember. I did like the flavors and the textures. I think I'm going to give the nod here to Dryers. They're going to sweep Blue Bunny three to zero, knocking them out of this tournament. Blue Bunny. Hop out of here, dryers. You're moving on to the Elite Eight. All right, in our second to last matchup this video, we have the seventh seed Turkey Hill against the tenth seed Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins, of course, is more of a restaurant chain as well. Turkey Hill, known for a large variety of products, not just ice cream. First up, we have eight, which is going to be the logos. Turkey Hill, uh, they got a lot of different colors going on. There's a lot going on in this logo, which is, you know, something I can appreciate. Um, they got like their, their farm or factory in the background. Um, pretty cool. Uh, Baskin Robbins recently changed their logo a few years back. I covered this in my ice cream logo ranking video. And although I like it, I, didn't, I don't like it as much as what it used to be. It is clever with the 31 different flavors hiding within the BR. And, you know, the pink and brown color scheme isn't that bad. Um, but surprisingly, I, I'm st I am going to go for Baskin Robbins here. I, I'm just looking at these logos side by side. I like it a little bit better than Turkey Hill. Usually I like uh, more complex 
things going on in a logo, but Turkey Hill, uh, the color scheme just is kind of ugly. And the, the Baskin Robbins logo is very clever. So I'm gonna give the nod here to Baskin Robbins. They go up one zero. Next up, next up, we have seven, which again, my personal preference, um, I've only had Baskin Robbins like twice. But it was phenomenal both times I've had. Turkey Hill ice cream, it, it's, a, it's above mid, but not by much. So I'm going to give them the nod here to Bass and Robbins once again. They quickly go up two, hill, two nil against Turkey Hill. Will they sweep them? Category four will decide this. We'll take it to the other customers, see what they think. Um, Turkey Hill, 4.5 out of 5 star average among their... Uh, customers and going to Baskin Robbins, a four out of five. So half a point difference, that's gonna cost them. Turkey Hill does get on the scoreboard. They are down two to one. Next up, we have one, which is revenue. Turkey Hill ranked uh, seeded seventh of $310 million revenue. Baskin Robbins at 10th seed, $160 million revenue. Turkey Hill makes almost twice as much. They tie this thing up 2-2. <clears throat> Another good matchup we got going on here. And the category that will decide it is category 10. So let's see if any of these are in the movie industry. Baskin Robbins, absolutely 22 different films and TV shows going to Turkey Hill. Only three. So with that, Baskin Robbins a little bit more notable in Hollywood. They're going to win 3-2 to two against Turkey Hill. Turkey Hill, you're out of here. Baskin Robbins going on to the Elite Eight. All right. In our final matchup of the video, we have the 15th seed, second class seed, Magnum Bar, which now serves uh, like ice cream in a tub, which is what, uh, what this the series was about. If you only had uh, ice cream bars or popsicles, you didn't count. This is scoopable ice cream only, which Magnum just qualified for recently. And the second seed, haagen -Dazs, is who they're going against. So let's get this ball rolling, shall we? We got, to start off, nine. Nine is going to be um, slogan. So haagen -Dazs slogan is made like no other. Okay, I, I could get down with it. Not the best, not the best, but it's decent. Magnum Ice Cream is Release the Beast. Now, that could be said for so many different products that are more than ice cream. When I think of ice cream, I don't think of super energy, beast, release the beast type stuff. So I, I just don't think it fits right. I like haagen a little bit better with Made Like No Other. They're gonna go up one to zero. All right, all right. We have category eight now, which which is logo. Uh, I really like the Magnum uh, logo. I like the gold and brown color scheme. I think it's pretty nice um, overall. I ain't got too much more to say about that. Um, Looking at the haagen logo, I do like their color scheme too. I think it's a very pretty shade of, you know, red, like a very dark red going on, almost purple on the white background. Um, but I think there's just a little bit more to Magnum and I'm gonna give them the nod here. So this thing is tied up one to one. Well, we have a very exciting last matchup before this video ends. We got seven. So once again, my personal preference in the matter, haagen -Dazs over Magnum. Magnum, really good ice cream, but I think haagen -Dazs is just a little bit better in my experience. So haagen -Dazs goes up to one. All comes down possibly to this category. We have 11. We're going to the music industry. Haven't gotten this in a minute. Let's see if any of these are mentioned in music. Magnum, nope. haagen -Dazs, Yes, two songs, most notably by the artist Shadow Walker. So with that, haagen moves on to the Elite Eight. Magnum, you're out of here. All right, so that was the Sweet, sweet 16 matchup. Um, moving on to the next video, something to look forward to or look out for. The only uh, 
double digit seeds left are the third to last seed graders and the temp seed Baskin Robbins. Everyone else is within a top 10 seed. So those are your Cinderella stories to look out for in the next video. If you like this video, hit me with the like button. If you want to see more of these series, let me know. Join the Southern Woods community and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.